Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can go pro in Gorilla Tag. I'm going to be going over all of the skills that I know to make you guys become pro. So, the first skill to go pro in Gorilla Tag would have to be learning how to vertical and Lucio. I've already gone over how to do this in a previous video, but there may be some new viewers who don't know how to do this, so I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can vertical and Lucio just like me. For my Lucio, I have my hands like this, my left hand on top and in front of my right hand. To be able to do my Lucio, what I do is I take my right hand and I go like this, like a vertical. And with my left hand, I basically pull inwards so I can get that diagonal. You can also go straight up, which is a bit harder. Practice using one hand, other hand right after each other. So now I'm going to show you guys how I vertical. I play with my grip buttons in because I have a more easier way of holding my controller. It it just gives me more grip so I don't throw it because I don't have any straps. So how I vertical is I go up to the wall, I look at it like this. So my head is like facing inwards but it's not flat on the wall. And what I do I, I start I, I don't start off with Lucio but I recommend for people that are starting go once twice like this into a vertical because it gives you more momentum so how I do it is I just take my hand and I make a circle and then I go straight down boom so it basically looks like this now this is what the <laughs> vertical looks like once you get good at it to learn and how to practice this is basically just wall running going slowly diagonal but also vertical up the wall so like going up the wall like this you can also practice this by also going even more diagonal like the lucio to become pro you need to know how to branch and how to scale trees properly and right, now i'm going to show you guys how to scale so basically what you do is when you jump you just pull upwards and go to the branch now this may take a while to learn, but after you master it, you should be able to do it quite fast. To start off your routes, it's it's good to get height when you're first starting out your routes. It's good to switch between having height and going down lower, because it's un more unpredictable. Now I'm going to show you guys a more advanced start to routes, and I'm going to show you guys mechanics that you can use on branches. So like in one of my videos, I did a route that started here. I went here and here, and on this branch, I did what's called a strike big. When you're on a branch, you go under and do a th uh, 180 backwards. Now, you can use this to your advantage to get up in multiple ways. Like this, you can go up right here, and right here. And that will be less predictable to tag, most people will just think that, yeah, they're just gonna go here, so they go here thinking that you're gonna be here, but really, you'll be over here. Underbranching is quite a simple mechanic, so I'm gonna show you guys how to underbranch. When you're on a tree and you can see a branch like here, basically what you wanna do, you wanna head off there and make sure you're hitting around this part of the tree. This is what an underbranch looks like. Hit right there. Underbranching is a mechanic that a lot of people use, including myself find it useful to get height or to get away like for example is to switch directions instantly now the third and final thing to go pro and gorilla tag would be ground ground is like one of the most used ways of rotation but a lot of people don't know how to play ground properly they happen to be showing you guys my my two ways of running whatever your dominant hand is is going this Going in a circle, it's like kind of like a vertical, and then pushing all the way back. This hand is going like this and pushing back, up and push back. So you can practice it by just going like this for your dominant hand, and then your non dominant hand just go. But you don't want to be bouncing up too high, that's why you got to make sure there's a perfect balance between your dominant hand and your not. So it looks like this. Once you get to learn it, it gets quite fast, but there is a second run I like to do. This run 
is way more tiring and it's a bit faster. So what you do, I like to hold my hands in like a fist because this gives you more grip so I don't throw my controllers. So it's sort of like the same thing, but you go a bigger circle over your head. And then this one, it's the same motion, just over up, up higher. This one looks like this. That's the run I used in my ground video. That's how I was so fast. There are other skills that are used in Gorilla Tag, other than just the three main skills, other than branching, ground, and walls. There's like high jumps and the hot long jumps. To crouch jump, basically what you want to do, crouch all the way down in real life, and then you can either jump or just go up instantly. So a crouch jump looks like this. And I'll show you guys how you can use it to jump to higher branches. This is me with no crouch jump. I cannot touch it. But now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with a crouch jump. There we go. That was a high jump. I'm going to show you guys one of the most common long jumps in the game. You do the same thing you crouch. But you want to make sure that you hold the crouch for a bit longer. So you can get more, more direction across and then you stop crouching you can land on it like this looks like that that's the tutorial on how to become pro in gorilla tag now obviously you're not just going to become pro overnight this all takes a lot of practice i've been playing this game for a long time so i know basically how to do everything in the game this might not be the best tutorial for you guys but this is just the way that i've practiced and learned how to be how i am today so I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you guys can leave a like and subscribe after this video if this helped. And comment down below if you need any help or something. I'll, I'll reply back as fast as I can tell you guys how I can help. And thank you for 700 subscribers. I appreciate it very much. This means a lot to me. I kind of took a break for a while, but now I'm back. I'm not going to post every day, but I'm going to post a couple of times per week.